It's a brand new day, a brand new week, and a brand new life. Thanks be to God. Hi, my name is Brother Pio, and welcome to Reap Elections. This week, allow me to tag you along to the awarding ceremony of the University of Tasmania's Vice Chancellor Leadership Program. Whew, that was a mouthful. It is usually wonderful to celebrate the victories of our friends and families, especially in grand events wherein they are awarded and acknowledged by the public. But amidst the jubilation, an important part of the victory somehow takes a backstage. For while we see the glamour and the prestige in the events, we don't see the struggles, the pains, and the challenges that a victor had to go through in order to achieve what he or she has achieved. For many, we might say that those obstacles had made the path to victory harder. But for most winners, they would say that those challenges had made their victory sweeter. Friends, we are getting closer to Christmas, and I believe many of us are excited to celebrate this joyful season with families and friends sharing food, laughter and games, songs and dances. And rightfully so, because we are not celebrating any ordinary celebration. We are celebrating God's great love for us, for He has given us His only begotten Son to be our Savior. But as we go through Christmas, let us also remember that while it is true that the angels sang glorious songs, and it was a silent night, holy night during Jesus' birth, and the world is joyful because of it, we can't also deny that part of the Christmas story are some challenges, some hardships, and even horrible events. For starters, perhaps Mary and Joseph were confused when they received the message of the angel telling them that they are going to be part of God's plan which is out of this world. And then together they were challenged to find a place to lay and bear the child Jesus. But it did not end there. They had to flee to Egypt to escape the craziness of King Herod, who also caused the death of many innocent children because of his greed, because of his fear. My friends, I am not telling you this in order to deter you from celebrating Christmas. No, no. Instead, I'm sharing this with you, especially those who don't feel like celebrating Christmas at all. Perhaps you've lost a loved one in the past year or so. Or maybe you've lost your job, your business, or a valuable possession because of this pandemic. Or perhaps you've been praying for something and the answer has been no so far. I am sharing this with you to tell you that the celebration of Christmas does not deny nor discount the pain that you feel. While we celebrate Christmas, we also acknowledge the pain that you are feeling. However, the message of Christmas is not for us to wallow and stay in that pain. For Christmas brings us the message of hope. For the story of Christmas did not end in a manger, nor in Egypt, not even on the cross, nor on a tomb. But it continued on Easter Sunday and even up to now when we witness Christ through our lives. Friends, no matter what you're going through, in the end, God will prevail. That's why even if you feel like you're down and out, even if you feel like you're an impossible case, even now, I claim victory, joy, and healing for you in Jesus' name. Can we pray together? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Father, we praise and thank you for the season of Advent. 
Lord, as we prepare for Christmas, we pray for our brothers and sisters who are going through a hard time in their lives. Lord, we surrender to you the challenges that they are facing. May your grace find them and give them the strength to go on so that they will see the victory that you've prepared for them. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this Monday. I pray that the weeks going to Christmas will be fruitful and meaningful for you. Take care and see you on the next Repulections. Elections.